ABV stock ticker ABBV is currently trading at $156.15 per share. Over the past year, they're down about 2.56% and it's had a pretty wide range over that time period. They've been as low as $134 per share and as high as $175.91 per share. Now, from a dividend perspective, if we jump over to the dividend tab, we can see Seeking Alpha gives them pretty good dividend grades. If we scroll down here, we can see they have a very nice starting dividend yield at 3.85%, annual payout of $5.90. Two cents, really good five year dividend growth rate, and a good history of dividend growth. Let's go ahead and jump into this payout ratio just a little bit more. We can see, historically speaking, around four or five years ago, their dividend payout ratio was a lot closer to 50%, but it's been reduced to around 40% over the past couple of years, which is a really great sign. And something I think is really interesting about this company, if we look at the most popular dividend ETF, SCHD, they recently just swapped up their holdings a little bit. So if we jump over to the holdings breakdown, we can see AbbVie is now the top dividend holding for the top dividend ETF. It makes up around 4.21% of their portfolio. So very interesting. Obviously, a lot of confidence in this company because of that move. So let's go ahead and jump over to my stock valuation spreadsheet to see if we can find the intrinsic value of ABBV. We'll be looking at a few different valuation models as you can see right here. But let's go ahead and jump over to my stock screener. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So let's go ahead and come up here and plug in the stock ticker AbbVie and you can see all this data will automatically load in. Looking at the dividend data, again, we've already mentioned current dividend yield at the time of this video around 3.8%, nice low payout ratio. Analysts currently have a target price of around $163 per share, institutional ownership decent at around 71%, and a beta of just 0.62, so you shouldn't see a whole lot of volatility with this company. But let's go ahead and jump into Graham's valuation. And this is a valuation model invented by one of Warren Buffett's mentors, Benjamin Graham. And the idea behind this formula is we should be able to calculate intrinsic value by plugging in variables into this formula. So you can see we have the earnings per share. We have a fairly low growth rate projection. I'm staying in line with analyst expectations for this company with that growth rate projection. And then we plug in the current yield on AAA corporate bonds at the time of this video. It's sitting at 4.42, which is still pretty high compared to where it's been historically, but it has come down a little bit over the last couple of weeks. But when we plug all of this into our formula, you can see we come to an intrinsic value of $88.72 per share. Now let's go ahead and keep moving forward, even though that's a little bit lower than the current trading price, as you can see, let's look at our discounted cash flow analysis. And basically what I've done is I've plugged in the historical free cash flow for this company so we can see the growth rate over that time period. So it's had really good growth rates for their free cash flow over the last few years. Now that is expected to slow down quite a bit in the coming years. We still expect to see some growth around 2%, but again, it definitely won't be as high as it has been over the past few years. So moving forward, I'm projecting a free cash flow growth rate of 2% to the future free cash flows of the company and the terminal value, which is the sum of the future free cash flows past the year 2030. We then take the present value of those future free cash flows and add them all together here, add the company's cash and cash equivalents and subtract out their total debt to get that equity value. And once we have that, we just divide by our shares outstanding and we come to a discounted cash flow price per share of $185.91. Now let's go ahead and jump over to our multiples valuation. And what we're doing is we're seeing how companies that are similar to ABBV are being valued on the market by looking at their price to earnings multiple. So we're taking their stock price of these comparable companies, dividing by the earnings per share, and we get our price to earnings multiple. We then take the average price to earnings for these comparable companies and multiply by AbbVie's earnings per share. And this gives us an intrinsic value of $224.00. 46 cents. So that's a huge jump up. Basically what the market is saying that compared to how these other companies are trading, AbbVie does appear to be a little bit undervalued. But let's go ahead and jump over and look at our last valuation model, the dividend discount model. Obviously one that I think is very important in this scenario because a lot of people are interested in this company for the dividends and the dividend growth. So what we do is we plug in the quarterly dividend payouts so we can see how much they pay out each year. And this allows us to see our dividend growth rates. And just like I mentioned earlier, good history of dividend growth. They have 10% here, 10% again, 8.5 and the most recent around 5%. So that's an average growth rate over that time period of around 8.5%. Now, moving forward, I'm projecting a dividend growth rate of 4.75%, which is pretty solid. You do have to keep in mind payout ratio currently sitting around 41%, so definitely plenty of room to continue to grow that dividend. But if we jump over to the discounted cash flow model, we can see 2% projection for the free cash flow growth rate. So I would project a higher dividend growth rate, but I think eventually the growth rate will slow a little bit due to the slowing free cash flow. But even then with a discount rate of 8.5%, we still come to a 
dividend discount model price per share of $165.37, meaning the company may be slightly undervalued according to this valuation model. Let's go ahead and jump over to our output tab. We have Graham's valuation at 88.72, multiples at 224, discounted cash flow at 185, and dividend discount model at 165. And so when we average those four together, we do come to an intrinsic value of $166.11 per share, which is actually pretty close to what we saw analyst target price at $164 per share. So if we come over here, we can see the current trading price is around $156. Let's say we apply a 10% margin of safety. Based upon that, our acceptable buy price for the company is $149.50. With a 20% margin of safety, our acceptable buy price is $132.89. So it's not quite in that buy range at its current ranges, but it has been close over the past year at different points. If we jump back over to Seeking Alpha again, we can see it did trade as low as $134 per share over the past year. Now, I don't currently own this company in my personal dividend portfolio, but I have been waiting for an opportunity to buy in. It hasn't happened yet, but when that opportunity comes, I'm definitely gonna be looking to add shares. I love the starting dividend yield. One of the goals for my dividend portfolio is to have an average dividend yield of 3.5%, so it does meet that criteria, and it also has a really good history of dividend growth that I think will be sustainable in the coming years. So again, definitely looking to add this to my portfolio when the price is right. But there you go, there's an analysis on AbbVie. Go ahead and let me know what you think of this company in the comments down below. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet, you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.